Hey, hey, another week of high school football is here. And this week, the boat brought us right out here to Bel Air High School. It's the Highlanders hosting the East Letter Indians in a district matchup. And look, guys, it is cold, it is gloomy, it is overcast, but that did not stop this teacher tailgate from turning out. Isn't that right, guys? And you can't blame them because right now the Highlanders are both big and red. Look, they're putting up big points, averaging more than 40 points a game, and that has seen them go on a red-hot streak. They're 6-0 to start the season, something they haven't achieved in more than 30 years. East Letter, on the other hand, are 1-5 and five to start, but they've got a chance to make a mark here tonight. Both coaches making it very clear during the week that this is anyone's game, and records are out the window. Is unacceptable, losing is unacceptable, and we definitely do not let our kids get complacent. To be Bel Air, we have to um, handle their pace. They, they run no huddle, they're very fast, they run their pace really fast. Um, they're 6 0, they're, they're well coached, they're a good team. But, um, you know, I think our boys are up for the challenge. It's going to be a challenge Friday night, but I think we'll be okay if we can uh, handle their pace. They're all big games. You know, every single week, you know, it's a rivalry game. And this game dates back to a long time ago. I mean, this is, this is really a traditional type game. That's right, it's Bel Air and East Letter right here in about half an hour, but football has already started elsewhere somehow miraculously because look over at the sack they had both a lightning delay and a rain delay just take a look at all of the water you're seeing right here on your screen they had to withstand all of that it would be the Aztecs though who strike first Quincy Estrada on the QB keeper Coronado though trying to bounce back the long ball and that would set up the field goal score there at halftime is 34 to 9 to the Aztecs we'll have the full highlights from that game as well as the highlights from this game and really all of the games from a across the borderland tonight on the borderland blitz at 10 35 and it's a busy friday night as always but then the weekend kind of chills out a bit because new mexico state are on a bye week and utep well they're playing away for the second week in a row against la tech now last week the miners got their first win in the east and they've got a chance to create more history this weekend if they win it'll be their first win in ruston since 2004 it'll also be their first back-to-back -back conference away game win since 2005 and they'd move past 500 for the first time this season no doubt it'd be a big win but how do they do it well here are my minor must we've seen a much improved minor offense in recent weeks but their last two wins probably wouldn't have come off if it weren't for one or more massive plays from the defense or special teams i think one of those areas will once again need to make a play secondly i mentioned an improved offense and that all starts with the run game the miners have run for 451 yards in just their past two games instead of 297 in their first four and the increase in running has seen Gavin Hardison be more accurate with the ball which in turn means the Miners are a better team and that really plays into my third key as much as what they've done these past two games has worked I'd like to see Hardison pass just a little more than what he has been UTEP versus La Tech tomorrow at 5 p.m. the Miners looking for a win to get into a winning record for the first time this year in their seventh game but for now it's all about high school football Blitzy and I we're going to brave whatever conditions we get out here Dobson uh, I'm hoping that there isn't any rain coming. <laughs>